This video is for an Acme Buck Boost Transformer. Buck Boost Transformers operate as an auto transformer, which means part of the winding is shared between the primary and the secondary of the transformer. In this particular case, this happens to be a setup on the bench for the first wiring diagram on the instructions, which is the figure C wiring diagram. And the figure, figure C wiring diagram looks like this on the instruction sheet. I have it highlighted. And in this particular case, the input uh, number one is also output number one and is connected with H2 and H4 of the transformer. The output is X1 and X3 which I just have spliced at the moment because I don't have an output for it. And the input here, the second input coming in from the line connects H1, H3, X2, and X4 to the other side of the line right here. And you might be able to see that it currently has 117 volts coming in from the power source. So if I take the other half of this reading and see it boosts the voltage from 117 up to approximately 130 volts. They call them buck boost transformers. You can either boost the voltage up or buck the voltage down. This is transformer figure connection D. The connections on input 1 are the same. Output 1, H2 and H4 get spliced together. The second input here is H1, H3, and X4. So there's four connections. The output is over here, which is X1 and X2 and X3 gets spliced together with that yellow wire nut. The line voltage is 117 volts and because it's an auto transformer I only have to move this lead to get the voltage test on the high side which is now 144 volts, 143-144. This is for transformer connection figure E. And with this, we're working with the higher voltage. The input voltage is 238 volts as seen on the meter. That's the line voltage going into the transformer. And the line voltage going in connects input 1 to output 1 and H4, which is back down here. Out Input 2 is connected to X1 and X3. The output 2, which we haven't measured yet, gets connected to H1, X2, and X4. And H2 and H3 are just spliced together and put in back into the transformer. The output voltage goes from 238 
down to approximately 225 volts, the 12 volt differential. Okay, this is transformer configuration H. And the connections here are input 1, also connects to output 1, and H4. Input 2 goes to H1 and X4. The output is X1. H2 and H3 get spliced together. And X2 and X3 get spliced together. And the line voltage coming in is 238 volts. The output voltage is 264 volts. Again, it's boosting the voltage with this configuration. This is transfigure, or <laughs> transformer configuration connection I. And in this configuration, output 1 and H4 go together. Input 2 goes to X1. Output 2 goes to H1 and X4. H2 and H3 are spliced together and X2 and X3 are spliced together. The line voltage going in is 238. The output voltage is 214. It bucks it down approximately to 24 volts, the difference. One of my favorite uses for these buck boost transformers is as a 12 volt supply for low voltage lighting. They're extremely durable, very long lasting, as opposed to the power supplies that come with low voltage lighting systems. I've had some of these auto transformer, buck boost transformers in place for 15 to 20 years operating flawlessly. In this particular case, my line voltage is 117 volts. It, this is not connected as an auto transformer. This is strictly as a low voltage transformer now. And if I go from the connections from the high side to the low side, I'm at roughly 11 or 12 volts. On a lower scale it says 13.2 volts, certainly within the range of acceptable for low voltage lighting systems. There is an entirely separate diagram for that type of connection and that's included in the booklet. A buck boost transformer can also be used as a 12 volt or 24 volt power supply. One of my uses for these transformers is for display lighting. I have a number of clients that have showrooms and the light source, the 12 volt, low volt light source uses these transformers. This particular display has nine of these plug-in lights for one rack and because they're rated 50 watts and the light source is 50 watts 
these transformers do not tend to have a long life. So by converting a buck boost transformer, putting a 120 volt cord on it, I can use it to power up to about 12 of these low volt lights. This particular fixture has nine, so I have some slack. The connections for the 120 volt, the line voltage on one side of the line, the black wire or white wire, connects H2 and H4 to one part of the cord, and H1 and H3 goes to the other part of the cord. And the transformer is grounded to a green wire to the back of the box. And by doing this and connecting H, or I'm sorry, X2 and X4 to one portion or one line, side of the line for the low voltage and X1 and X3 to the other side, I create the 12 volts that powers this light. You can see that it works. It could also be used from a 240 volt source and still create either 12 volts or 24 volts. It is one of the most useful transformers I've encountered.